صباح النور اهلا دكتور ها جاهزين عيني تمام دكتور جاسم ماشي واضحه الشاشه قدامكم اي واضحه واضحه الشاشه قدامكم مره ثانيه اسالكم اي دكتور واضحه تمام ماشي يلا احنا وقعنا the only thing we left in our lecture حقيقه uh, concerning my lectures هو الاسفاجس we'll go shortly about the information regarding the surgical uh, aspects of the oesophageal disease let's start to short notes about the anatomy of the oesophagus as you know the oesophagus is a muscular tube and it approximately 25 centimeter in length starting from the oesophageal sphincter to the gastroesophageal junction it occupies the posterior mediastinum and extending from the upper oesophageal sphincter to the uh, to the uh, stomach. The musculature of the upper esophagus, including the upper sphincter, is citrated muscles. This is followed by a transitional zone of both citrated combined when, the, uh, uh, when we go down to the esophagus, middle part of the esophagus, the uh, striated muscles decrease in frequency and replaced by smooth muscles. So it's a combination of striated and smooth muscles. Uh, and the proportion of the later uh, who was smooth muscle progressively increase on uh, when we s proceed downward toward the uh, toward the lower esophagus and in the lower half of the esophagus there is only smooth muscles i mean meaning good smooth muscle معناها involuntary meaning good straight muscles معناها voluntary was an of this high voluntary with this high involuntary the esophagus lined by squamous epithelium stratified non keratinized ha you know by common the skin Non-keratinized stratified sequamous epithelium, and the supplied uh, uh, mainly by the parasympathetic supply, which is a branches of the vagus nerve, uh, which is connected to uh, its uh, enteric or uh, endogenous uh, nerve plexus, namely the Auerbach or the myenteric plexus and the Meissner submucosal plexus, is usually spurred in the esophagus, not just like the intestine. The intestine, there is an equivalent part of the uh, uh, these plexuses, Auerbach and, uh, and Meissner plexus. In the esophagus, the Auerbach plexus predominates and the Meissner submucosal plexus is spurred in the esophagus. The upper sphincter consists of powerful striated muscles and the lower sphincter is more septal, usually less powerful and is created by asymmetrical arrangement of muscle fibers in the distal esophageal wall just above the gastroesophageal junction. It is usually important to uh, know that the distance 15, 25 and 50 centimeter for anatomical location during endoscopy. 15, we have to go the endoscope in the middle of the endoscope. 15 is the incisor teeth for the upper esophageal sphincter. 25 the arch of aorta and 40 centimeter the gastroesophageal junction. There will be an endoscopic endoscope. نحسب من الانسدر تيت هو اللي طالع المكان طالع الاندوسكوب من نقول 40 centimeter معناه إحنا استونا وين inside the stomach. Physiology. The main function of the esophagus, as you know, is to transfer or conduit food from the mouth to the stomach in a coordinated fashion. So it transfer food. From the mouth to the stomach in a coordinated fashion by a, an act called swallowing. The initial movement from the mouth is voluntary. You are uh, uh, able to 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 control your swallowing initial in the initial point of the swallow, initial steps of the swallowing. The pharyngeal phase of the swallowing involves sequential contraction of the oropharyngeal musculature and the closure of the nasal and respiratory passages cessation of the breathing and opening of the upper esophageal sphincter. Beyond this level, this until this point, this, this is voluntary. Beyond this level, when the food enters to the esophageal sphincter, swallowing is involuntary, and you cannot control it. The body of this esophagus propels the bolus of, of food through the relaxed lower, and when, when the food bolus enters the esophagus, the uh, uh, esophageal contraction, the primary peristaltic wave, 
of the Oslo Vegas Hassar Ahnachi it propel or moves the footballers through a relaxed lower esophageal sphincter. So the lower esophageal sphincter relaxed at this time when the during the primary peristalsis. And when it's swallowing, it's a contraction of the upper esophagus toward sequential contraction of the esophagus in order to propel or to push the food bullets toward the stomach. This means that the lower esophageal sphincter during this act to be relaxed in order to uh, uh, allow this food bullets to pass easily into the stomach. The coordinated esophageal wave that follows the conscious level swallow have a lower conscious level follow uh, level يعني, of contraction of swallowing يعني, again من يعبر ال upper esophageal sphincter station involuntary الحد هذا هذا هو conscious أنت تحس به after that when the football has entered the upper esophagus it is called primary peristalsis هسه حكيت عليها قبل شوية it is under vagal control although there are specific neurotransmitter released uh, uh, by the uh, by the esophageal mucosa that control the, the lower esophagus but the main effect is mediated by the vagus nerve. The upper esophageal sphincter is normally closed at rest and serve the upper esophageal sphincter closed, normally closed when the patient, when the individual does not eat, it's usually closed at rest and serve as a protective mechanism against regurgitation of esophageal content into the respiratory passages. It also serves to stop air entering the esophagus other than a small amount that enter during swallowing. يعني بالأسفيجس هذا مزدود إحنا من إحنا من كل هذا مزدود اللي هو prevent regurgitation من النام إحنا من النام راح ينزل ممكن إنه gastric content إذا نايمين إحنا وهذا مفتوح راح يصير aspiration of gastric content to the to the to the lungs and cause aspiration pneumonia. So it's normally closed when the patient not taking food. The lower esophageal sphincter is a zone of relatively high pressure that prevents gastric content from reflexing into the lower esophagus. The lower esophageal sphincter is a high pressure, and then we will talk about the reflex, which is the mechanism that makes it competent in order to prevent reflex of gastric content to the lower esophagus. In addition to opening, what is the opening? We will talk about the opening of the primary peristalsis of the esophagus, which is initiated after the uh, 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 voluntary phase, you say involuntary phase, some primary peristalsis, how the lower sphincter is open. Wait, the sphincter, it be relaxation, I mean, the sphincter is also relaxed to allow air to yeah. escape from the stomach. Min nakul, min nakul, swallowing of air. The air is jamma bil stomach. The, pay, the individual need to, to, to uh, uh, evacuate this excessive air in the stomach by, by a process called erectation. This Sphincter usually relaxed during uh, this erectation to, in order to remove or uh, an excessive air accumulated in the stomach. A variety of factors influence the sphincter tone. How the sphincter tone how the gastric uh, uh, secretion or gastric content uh, keep kept in the stomach and does not reflex. This this tone of the sphincter is affected by type of food, يعني مثلا السويت فود والفاتي فود make the sphincter more relaxed تقلل التون مالته gastric distension some gastrointestinal hormones drugs and smoking these factors can help or can affect the tone of the sphincter and making the individual more liable to cause uh, reflex of uh, or to complain from reflex of gastric content into the esophagus the arrangement of muscle fibers in this sphincter and the, the, their differential response to specific neurotransmitters and the relationship to the diaphragmatic contraction all contribute to the action of the lower. Yani high patency or el, 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 the efficacy of the diaphragmatic hiatus, means there be relaxation, means there be hernia, means there be means there uh, weakness of the uh, diaphragmatic hiatus could have it after the efficacy of the lower esophageal sphincter and may may participate in the development of reflex diseases the gastroesophageal reflex disease the presence of this physio physiological sphincter was first demonstrated by code using manometry 
uh, contracted when the patient is not is not eating is not eating contracted with small balloons هو هذا سوى اخترع البالون مع المانومتري دخله بالاسوفاجاس وقام يقيس البريشر بالمانومتري now nowadays the lower esophageal sphincter pressure is measured for perfused tubes or microtransducer and the normal esophageal sphincter length length is 3 to 4 cm and has a pressure of 10 to 25 like احنا نشوف efficacy of the lower esophageal sphincter لازم ندخل probe or microtransducer ندخل بالاسوفاجاس 24 hour monitoring of this pressure during the each phases of day during eating during fasting a uh, normal pressure resting pressure is equivalent to 10 to 25 millimeter mercury manometry is also used to assess the speed and amplitude of esophageal body contraction and ensure the peristalsis is propagated down the entire the entire length of the esophagus another type of peristalsis in the uh, esophagus is secondary peristaltic. It's normal reflex response in a stubborn food. Bullas. Men nibla ahne. Sara peristaltis. But a kukasim menil menil food particles stuck into the esophageal walls. Hadi clearance malata yatimin ala secondary peristaltis. He another wave generated spontaneously in order to clear the esophagus from the stubborn food bullas or reflex material designed to clear the esophagus by this contraction. The uh, tertiary contraction are non-peristaltic. Here, a contraction which is not peristaltic, the primary peristaltic, secondary peristaltic, tertiary peristaltic, sharp and tertiary peristaltic, and here, non-peristaltic wave that are infrequent, less than 10% of the esophageal contraction during manometric monitoring of the esophageal movement although readily detected if manometry is undertaking while the patient eat a meal synergy are the symptoms of esophageal disease a ham symptom the esophagus who are dysphagia dysphagia is due to describe difficulty of swallowing esophageal dysphagia occur in the involuntary phase and it is characterized by sensation of food sticking in the esophagus هاي يسموه اسوفاجيال ديسفاجيا بس اكو مثلا فارينجيال ديسفاجيا ما يقدر يبلع هاي يسموه اودينوفاجيا painful or in difficult to to passing food in the voluntary phase الاسوفاجيال ديسفاجيا هي involuntary phase the nature of this type of dysphagia is often informative regarding the likely diagnosis يعني من ناخذ history of dysphagia لازم نعرف acute or chronic you know to clean information about the diagnosis or hint about the diagnosis uh, it can affect solid or fluid information some diseases are affected the food fluid dysphagia or solid dys dysphagia uh, intermittent or progressive while many patients point to the side of dysphagia of or food stacking it is usually unreliable that's how they're unreliable to the site of obstruction. Odinophagia is referred to pain on swallowing, and the patient with reflex esophagitis often feel with feel a retrosternal discomfort. High odinophagia here within a few seconds of the swallowing of hot beverage, citrus drinks, or alcohol. High pain, retrosternal chest pain. Uh, uh, pain on swallowing high odinophagia. Patient with reflex esophagitis يختلف هذا مو odinophagia اللي هو feel retrosternal discomfort سمو retrosternal burning أو heart burn نسمي بال 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 بالclinical منشوف يقولون heart burn هو هذا heart burn اللي هو pain in the retrosternum in patient with reflex esophagitis. Odinophagia is also a feature of infective مو شرط إلا يعني uh, uh, infective esophagitis مثلا أكو عندنا uh, uh, من يصير عندنا كانديدا انفكشن دول البيشنت اللي هم بدردين او مثلا نقول بالار انتنسيف كير يونت اندوتريكيال انتوبيشن دول كان يعني نوت تيكينج فود فور سيفرال تايمز يصير عندهم كانديداسيز اوف ذا اسفيجاس اولسو سفر فروم اودينوفيجيا اند ات از بارتيكولرلي سيفير اند برومننت ان بيشنت وذ كيميكال انجري دول يشربون يعني كوروزيف كوروزيف اسفيجيال uh, uh, injury. You said, I don't severe dysphagia or odinophagia. 
Regurgitation and reflux is another symptoms of esophageal disease and often used synonymously and it is helpful to differentiate between them although it is not always possible. Regurgitation should be strictly Schwachtingol regurgitation referred to a return of procedural content from above a functional or mechanical obstruction. Yani regurgitation, lazim adna akupad mechanical. Humma, yani hada tani gulun reflex or regurgitation as well. But see, it is not. It is not a similar similar symptoms. Regurgitation means return of esophageal or gastric content above a functional or mechanical obstruction. Reflex is a passive return of gastrointestinal content to the mouth as a part of symptomatology of gastroesophageal reflex. And reflex, where it is a symptoms of gastroesophageal reflex disease. Other symptoms associated with reflex disease is loss of weight, anemia, cachexia, and change of voice due to reflex material irritation of the vocal cords and sometimes causing cough and dyspnea due to tracheal aspiration may all accompany regurgitation and or reflux. Chest pain is a similar character to angina. Pectoris may arise from esophageal causes, especially gastroesophageal reflux disease and motility disorders of the esophagus. Exercise induced chest pain can be due to reflux. Exercise induced chest pain reflux, not necessarily cardiac. Investigation, radiography, chest radiography, contrast radiography has been somewhat overshadowed by endoscopy. And before the time of the endoscopy, most of the investigation of the esophagus is on the way of x-ray, so plain x-ray or contrast x-ray. Now, the endoscopy, most of the investigation, the radiological investigation, has been decreased in usage and use as compared to endoscopy, uh, but remain useful. High work to be up to be useful. This when demonstrating narrowing, non trabarium, non trabarium, and shuffle narrowing, actor, mechanical narrowing or mechanical architectural narrowing of the esophagus can be displayed better with radiology rather than endoscopy. And in patient with space of occupying lesion, anatomical distortion. Abnormal motility. Barium radiology is, however, inaccurate in the diagnosis of gastroesophageal reflex. Yeah, the reflex, and when when it had that reflex, the endoscopy is better. But when it had that, ah, 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 we say obstruction, mechanical, a foreign body, we say the radiology is better. Plain radiography will show some foreign bodies. Cross section, cross sectional imaging by computer tomography is now the essential investigation in managing a patient with. Esophageal neoplasm, especially uh, carcinoma of the esophagus, usually aids in the staging of the disease to assess lymphatic and uh, uh, tumor invasion in the, of the mediastinum. It also has a role in the in patient with the uh, perforation, esophageal perforation, when we give him contrast study, and when CT scan is combined combined with oral contrast study, it can assess the degree of leakage of contrast into the mediastinum and it assess the perforation accurately. Endoscopy is the gold standard uh, investigation and the most commonly used investigation to assess the esophageal disorders. It's required a view of inside of the esophagus and the esophageogastric junction to obtain biopsy or cytology specimen and for removal sometimes we could use it as a therapeutic option for removal of foreign body and to dilate structures to uh, uh, arrest bleeding in some bleeding point in the esophagus like esophageal varices in the esophagus. Traditionally, there are two types of instruments available, the rigid esophagoscope and the flexible videoscope. But the rigid instrument is not virtually obsolete except special cases of large foreign body cannot be retrieved by flexible one. We can use the rigid instrument. The rigid instrument should be done under general anesthesia and uh, usually associated with higher risk of perforation of the esophagus. For the flexible video uh, gastro esophagy or gastrodidinoscopy, the general anesthesia is not required and most examination can be done on an outpatient basis and the quality of the magnemite image, image is very, very good or excellent. Endo 
Endoscopic ultrasound or endosonography. Endoscopic ultrasound relies on a high frequency uh, uh, transducer located at the tip of the endoscope in order to provide a highly detailed image of the layers of the esophageal wall and the mediastinal structure. The yani ultrasound is an esophagus. You see the esophageal wall, the tumor, you see the thickness, the degree of invasion, and other paraesophageal mediastinal structure like lymph nodes or other pathologies can be viewed by this endoscopic ultrasound. The other investigation is esophageal manometry, the probe in the esophagus which assess the motility and the pressure within the esophagus during resting and eating uh, action. This is a 24-hour pH combined pH impedance recording, 24-hour pH monitoring, and how in the statement patient with reflex. Prolonged measurement of the pH is now accepted as the most accurate method of diagnosing gastroesophageal reflex. It's particularly useful in patients with atypical reflex symptoms. Yeah, not everyone. The typical reflex symptoms or endoscopic features of reflex are high, for example, lower esophagitis, or barred esophagus, or and the hiatus hernia. Those are usually the ones that are very common with reflex. We don't use them, but we use them at some time. The ones that are atypical reflex symptoms, the ones that are not with endoscopic. عنده سيمتومز وعلى الريفلكس بس ما عنده اندوسكوبيك فيتشرز اوف اسفاجايتس مال ريفلكس. And when patient respond poorly to intensive medical therapy اللي هو اكو عنده سيمتومز اوف ريفلكس ونعطيه ميديكال ثيرابي وما يصير عنده ريسبونس نسوي له 24 hour pH monitoring to prove or to exclude this reflex. A small pH probe is passed to the distal esophagus and position 5 cm above the upper margin of lower esophageal sphincter. هسه يقول لي شلون نعرفه 5 سم لانه احنا اصلا لازم قبل ال pH monitoring لازم نسوي مانومتري ونشوف اللور اسفنجر سفنكتر <تصفيق> وين وراح ندخل البروب انه يخليه 5 سم فوق اللور اسفنجر سفنكتر. This record the the daily and 24 hour pH monitoring of this side of the uh, lower esophagus. It give us a, a, a hint that there is, there is a reflex or not. Yani pH, in patient with reflex disease, high pH, it will reflex in the reflex of gastric content. Yani gastric acid, it will reflex into the esophagus. Uh, and the uh, uh, reflex of gastric acid will cause decrease in the pH. So any decrease in the pH and monitor in the 24 hours uh, 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 can give us a diagnosis of reflex diseases. Therapeutic procedure can be done by endoscopy or dilatation of structures by balloon or sometimes thermal recanalization. Thermal recanalization, esophagus, esophageal, advanced esophageal cancer, in whom we choose a palliative treatment, a palliative treatment in esophageal cancer is to relieve dysphagia. One of the palliative treatment, we can create a core within the core, core we, we penetrate, the the uh, move penetrate, yani, uh, we made a core, cancer in order to make patency of the esophageal, uh, of esophageal lumen, we make a core. Some, we use some thermal uh, thermal damage, the argon beam coagulation or argon beam laser coagulation, in order to uh, uh, make a core within the cancer, in order to relieve uh, and yani symptomatically relieve dysphagia. Forum bodies in the esophagus are quite common. Yeah, esophagus. The most common is the most common who move forum body who the most common infection who food bullets. Yeah, you know, one shy kibir, makila lahme, uhay lahmaya, when fight the esophagus uga de. So in a dysphagia, so in a chest pain, so in a she why symptoms, we have to manage them by endoscopy and endoscopic retrieval. It is usually possible to remove foreign bodies by a flexible endoscope, and you have to be aware of potent batteries. Potent batteries should be, potent batteries, high battery, which is the high battery, not the battery, which is the same as coin, like the umle, with all the things. When it's stuck to the esophagus, it can cause severe esophageal irritation and perforation, and should be removed urgently. Especially in children. Many of the people are 
endoscopic retrieval of all foreign bodies is usually successful in most of the cases. Uh, the one of the X-ray in a, an old man. وبالأ لفت شيء ده شوفوا هذا هذا الأبيض شنو هذا الأبيض واحد يقول لي شباب ألو 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 شباب سمعوني Okay, this is a denture. Who has a denture? Denture. Denture. بلاح المريض اللي هي الطخم الأسنان ما ت بلاح المريض. نيجي على ال esophageal perforation. Perforation of the esophagus is usually iatrogenic. Usually, most of the cases iatrogenic. When it's a endoscopy, flexible or rigid endoscopy, due to therapeutic purpose. يعني نسوي مثلاً نأخذ biopsy, نحفر النكور بالesophagus, نوخر foreign body. معظم ال perforation يجي مو من diagnostic endoscopy يجي من therapeutic or maybe due to paratrauma اللي هو يسموه spontaneous perforation اللي يسميه Boyer Heap syndrome many instrumental perforation can be managed conservatively but spontaneous perforation is often life threatening condition and require regularly surgical intervention نيجي لل spontaneous احنا قلنا هذا ال perforation two types يا اما iatrogenic اللي هو عادة يصير بالاندوسكوبي والاندوسكوبي عادة للثيرابيوتيك بروسيجر رادر ذان دايجنوستيك يعني ثيرابي نريد نوخر فورم بدي نحفر كور ناخذ بايبسي وهكذا نسوي دايليتيشن لستركشر مثلا وصار دايليتيشن اكثر من اللازم يصير بيرفوريشن هاي ثيرابيوتيك بط اذر تايب اوف اوف رابتشر او هو بيرفوريشن يسموه سبونتينيوس بيرفوريشن يسموه باروتروما او بوير هيف سندروم هذا شو وقت يصير This occurs classically when a person vomits against a closed glutus. يعني glutus ما تمزدودة وصير بي vomiting. The pressure below the esophagus increases rapidly within a short time, and the esophagus burst or rupture at its weakest point, usually in the lower esophagus, sending a stream of material, اللي هي gastric material, into the mediastinum, and often the pleural cavity, resulting in a degree of severe mediastinitis. And infection. In other words, when the intestinal content, the esophageal and gastric content within the mediastinum cause severe infection and sometimes sepsis, septicemia, and death. The condition is first reported by Boyer Heave, who reported the case of a Grand Admiral of Duke Fleet, who was a gluten and practiced an auto emesis. John Huey is our nephew. The only one who is. على مود يرتاح يزوع نفسه واحدة من الزواعات صار عنده perforation of the esophagus. Boyer Heave syndrome is the most serious type of perforation because of large volume of material that is released under pressure. So it is a perforation under pressure. So the the escape or the leakage of this material will be massive into the mediastinum, sometimes the pleural cavity, or even if the perforation below the diaphragmatic hiatus, it causes Uh, 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 perforation uh, uh, to the peritoneal cavity. The, this is called rapid chemical rotation on the mediastinum and the pleura followed by infection if untreated. And infection usually lead to the rapidly developing sepsis and septicemia. Bar trauma also has been described in relation to other pressure events when the patient strained against closed glutes, methyl defecation in patient with constipation or labor. Labor or lifting heavy weight. Diagnosis of spontaneous, spontaneous perforation should be kept in mind in, epi, in any history in any patient who develops severe chest pain or the upper abdomen following an attack of vomiting, following a meal or a bout of drinking. And one had Mark Ligulstoni was a wide, was all at the chest pain, had a Khalibana spontaneous perforation or Boyer Heave syndrome. The associated shortness of a breast is common. Differential diagnosis of, of this condition is myocardial infarction, perforated peptic ulcer, or pancreatitis. If the pain is con confined to the upper abdomen, there may be surprisingly amount of rigidity in the abdomen uh, in the absence of per any peritoneal contamination. The diagnosis can usually be suspected from the clinical history and examination 
and chest x-ray is often confirmatory for air in the mediastinum, air escape into the mediastinum with the fluid and the gastric content, air escape into the mediastinum causing what we call it milk x-ray now there is a monimo mediastinum, a mediastinum fog with air or sometimes pneumothorax in the pleura or in the peritoneum causing air under diaphragm. Pleural effusion occur rapidly and it is usually evident on x-ray examination. But the most important step in the diagnosis is the performance of uh, uh, an oral contrast enhanced CT scan of the chest and the abdomen. is nearly always required uh, for diagnosis and it guides the management outline. Pathological perforation in the pathological perforation hydrogenic how how spontaneous or pathological perforation is here three ulcers in the uh, in the esophagus or tumors of the esophagus invading the pleural spaces sometimes uh, erosion of the adjacent structures like the bronchus or the trachea result in formation of fistula between the esophagus and the trachea or bronchus Result, this aerodigestive fistula is the most common and usually encountered in primary malignant disease of the esophagus or bronchus. A patient present with cough on eating and sign of aspirin. In many occultations, through this fistula, uh, fluid and food will escape through the fistula to the lung and bronchus result in coughing and aspiration pneumonitis. Uh, other cause of perforation is here rarely encountered. Perforation by knives and bullet is uncommon, even in war injury, because the esophagus is relatively small target surrounded by other vital organs. Yani, اللي نشوفه يجينا الطوارئ perforated esophagus قليل جدا. ليش؟ لأنه surrounding في surrounding organs are very vital. أقرب واحد إلى شنو هو البرونكس والأورتة. إذا صار فيها rupture. هذه due to knife injury or هاي عادة المريض ما يوصل للطوارئ يعني ألايف مو صحيح لأنه للأسف يقص حجمه بالنسبة للميديا ستانو بالنسبة للشيست وول very small and other structure more vital structure are usually near the esophagus if there is an esophageal injury usually combined with other serious injury for which the patient cannot reach to the hospital usually they die at the time of the injury. Foreign bodies in the esophagus may uh, the esophagus may be perforated during removal. A foreign body and occasionally an object has been left in the esophagus for several days will erode through the wall. Metal Yani will be pointing age. Uh, uh, perforation. The other uh, type of perforation is instrumental perforation, which uh, is therapeutic. It is the most common cause of perforation. Well, modern instrumentation is remarkably safe, but perforation remains a risk and should not be forgotten. Yani any instrumentation of the esophagus, we need to do of structure, we need to do biopsy, we need to do uh, uh, bleeding with esophagus. By argon beam or laser surgery, we have to be aware that perforation is a possible sequelae of this instrumental manipulation of the esophagus. Treatment of esophageal perforation. Perforation of the esophagus, whatever the type. Guidelines of the perforated esophagus. The loose of the earlier tissue of the posterior mediastinum allow rapid spread. Of gastrointestinal content, and the aim of treatment is to limit, to limit the mediastinal contamination and to prevent or dealing with in, the ongoing infection. Operative repair deals with the injury directly. And if the thoracotomy, we show the side of injury, we But impose a risk by its own. يعني هذا مو سهل يعني نفتح the thoracotomy على patient تعبان بها risk. And of, of more complication and death. Umarat, we use non-operative treatment. 
aims to limit the effect of mediastinitis and provide an environment that the perforation healed by itself, spontaneous healing. ولذلك لازم نوازن هذا لازم يا هو نعرف المريض نسوي له operative treatment أو يا هو المريض نعالجه conservative. The decision decision between operative and non-operative management based on من four factors. يا هي الفاكتورز اللي نعتمد عليها. يا مريض نستخدم له operation ويا مريض نستخدم له non-operative measures. The site of operation نعتمد. إذا cervical esophagus أو thoracic abdominal esophagus. Cervical esophagus usually managed non-operatively. While thoracic abdominal esophagus usually needs surgical correction. هاي واحد. اثنين الشغله الثانيه اللي تاثر اللي هي ايفنت كونزيك بيرفوريشن سبونتينيوس او انسترومنتال اذا سبونتينيوس بيرفوريشن ليش او انسترومنتال احنا مثل ما قلنا سبونتينيوس بيرفوريشن اللي هو بوير هيف سندروم شو يصير عندنا يصير عندنا فوميتنج مو وبيرفوريشن يعني معناها البيرفوريشن اندر صار اندر بريشر يعني سبريد مال 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 سبريد مال جاستريك كونتنت To the mediastinum is very rapid or huge. When the instrumental perforation, the patient is often sick. May see that contamination. We know that the perforation may be contaminated. But when it is not, it is not. And the perforation will cause severe immediate mediastinitis. الشغله الثالثه اللي هي underlying pathology بناء or malignant and the status of the esophagus before perforation fasted or patient taking a meal. هنا الفاكتور in favor non operative management small septic load يعني معناها ال 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 material that spread in the in the من نقول septic load يعني ال material that spread into the mediastinum very little spread small يسموه small septic load high favor non operative. Minimal cardiovascular upset, يعني ما عنده شوك. Perforation confined to the mediastinum, ما واصل للفلورة. Perforation by flexible endoscope, مو Boyer heave أو spontaneous perforation. Perforation of the cervical esophagus. These factors favors favors خلينا نشجع أن نستخدم non-operative management. Factors favor operative management. اللي هي large septic load. اللي هو شنو؟ أكو Diffused contamination of the mediastinum and pleura. Septic shock, patient presented with septic shock. Pleura, breached or injured or, or, or يعني perforated and the mediastinal content reached to the pleura. The other who a boyer heave syndrome, اللي حشينا عليه spontaneous perforation of the esophagus. And other who a perforation of the abdominal esophagus. How they usually does not, cannot be managed non-operatively. Guidelines of the non-operative approach are pain that is readily genial non-operative approach. Lazim, we have to control pain by giving opiate. Absence of crepitus and diffuse mediastinal gas and hydrothorax or pneumoperitoneum. Lazim, high end. نعرف هاي قبل ما نسوي initiation of of non-operative treatment. Mediastinal contamination of the perforation. لا mediastinal containment of the perforation with no evidence of widespread intravasation of contrast material during CT examination. No evidence of ongoing luminal obstruction or retained foreign body. يعني ما أكو عندنا لازم أكو obstruction or retained foreign body ليش هذا إنه اللي شو اللي بالعراح يروح بالزايد إذا أكو obstruction راح يروح صيب إذا أكو proximal perforation any distal obstruction cause more leakage of swollen material to the mediastinum. Indication of surgery are unstable patient with sepsis or septic shock. Evidence of heavily contaminated mediastinum or pleural or space or peritoneum. Patient had widespread intrapleural or intraperitoneal extravasation of contrast material during CT scan. We will stop at this time and the next lecture we will continue with Mallory with syndrome. Thank you very much. شباب وياي الو نعم دكتور وياك هنا خلينا نوقف لان المعلومات عليكم هوايه الاسبوع الجاي نكمل على المالاري والسندرا ماشي ان شاء الله دكتور شكرا جزيلا العفو دكتور شكرا